I mean, you say you feel for Frank, Trevor. Why bother feeling for Frank? Frank's a big boy. He knew what he was getting into when he took the job. Well, I don't think he did. And that's that's. Well, he did. Yeah, of course, I he don't did. think he knew how poor certain players or how lacking quality certain players were at the football club. How um, well then he's a bloody lack, fool. Then how lacking fights that. But some some he's managers go in. Some managers go in feeling. I'll change him. Sure. And, and I think he had that and, kind and, of belief and, about his and, own ability. And, he knew what he was getting into, Trev. And Frank Lampard has gone in there and done precisely nothing. He's turned a team that were fighting against teams like Chelsea into a team that capitulated diabolically against Tottenham, were a disgrace against Crystal Palace. Palace yeah. But the first 15 minutes at it, across it, made Palace look <clears> pedestrian. <throat> and then, the moment they got adversity, no resilience, that comes from the manager the reasons why you change managers is you get a bounce with a culture that gives you something different to hang on to these players are not hanging on to anything that Frank is saying if you don't if you know the schedule fixtures don't bring in the free fixtures if it's not if it's the reality of the world that you live in just get on with it rather than bring it up not make out that you're not complaining about it when you really are just get on with the challenge mm. in front of you produce a team that's capable of being effective you're getting helped out because there are three teams beneath you that are poor if you lose tonight against Burnley, then you're really in oh, real you're trouble. In you're in it. You're and, in it. And Frank, you, and you, you, you signed Deli Ali. You signed Donny van der Beek. You wanted those bodies in the building. Mm. You own that outcome. You own the fact that Deli Ali hasn't lifted a leg for this football club besides a leg he put in that ridiculous <laughs> outfit that he climbed onto the pitch with <laughs> to give you some indication of where his mind might be. You signed these players. These players are not performing. You wanted this job, and if you didn't know what you were walking into, then you should have done your due diligence being a professional, understanding what it was that you were experiencing and made sure that you knew what you were coming that, into. Th that that does sound harsh, but to me, Simon's on the money with that. Yeah, listen, There's no I, other way of looking at it, Trevor. Look, he knew what he was getting into. You look at Everton. Could you ever have conceived that in 28 games played, Everton would have lost 17 of them. No, I couldn't because I've seen Everton play well and I've seen him play well at the beginning of this season, seen him play well last season. Um, and that this season they just haven't produced. I think Dominic Calvert-Lewin, as harsh as it sounds, is a big part of what they do good and he's not been able to contribute through injury and through so lack of form. So all these players who Mashiri pays fortunes to have got to be looking at themselves well, and yeah, thinking, I mean, how on earth have we let down this badge, this famous Everton badge, so badly this season, as they undoubtedly have, Trevor? But you look at the players that have come in. You know, they've let Dina go, they've brought in Mikalenko. Without being disrespectful, he's a kid. He and needs to learn the game properly he's before we start. Yeah. Pardon? He's not good enough. He's not good. He's not good enough. But he might be good enough in the future. But he needs to learn in the here and learn, now. Learn, learn his craft. Yeah. You you look at some of the play Holgate's playing centre midfield. Holgate's not a centre midfielder. Round holes. Sorry, round pegs in round holes. You're playing players out of position now just to fill gaps. There's players that can play in that position that he doesn't fancy, and it just shows the lack of depth and the lack of quality amongst his Everton squad. And I'm thinking, the fan, the Everton fans, they wanted Rafa out. Are they? Now starting to think that Rafa wasn't doing that bad a job because they've not been in this bad a position but, since. There was that club, Simon, but, but, who never accept. But they're reaping what they sow. I mean, way. I like you know, Everton. Fight to the end. They reap what they sow. I, I like Bill Kenwright. A lot of Everton fans hold Bill responsible for some of this. I've got a lot of really well healed friends that are Everton fans, so I'm very interested in Everton. Always have been. I sold to Andy Johnson. Always enjoyed a good relationship with them. But across the board. This club is made up of people that haven't been fit for purpose. Some of them have just been poseurs that look like the part. Marcel Brands did nothing, brought a bad squad of players in. He was behind that. A poseur? Yeah, someone that looks That's the part. Preserve. Someone that looks the part but really isn't the part. Oh, someone that actually gets reputations that they're not entitled to. And it's too often in football. So when it gets, you've got an owner that doesn't know what he's doing, that's got too much money and not enough sense about the business of sport. You've got Bill that's trying to hold order in there but it's getting marginalised. And there's a segment of Everton fans that think Bill is in fact part of the problem behind the football club. Then you've got appointments that look good for the fans like Graham Sharp. And I'm sure Graham will add some value to some, to some extent. Then you make appointments like Rafael Benitez that just don't, cannot hit the stripes with the Everton fans. You've got to win every game with someone like that in situ and you didn't have the team to do it. And you've you got your best centre forward out and your best central well, defender I think, out I, I, as I well. I think he's a one season Yerry wonder anyway. No, I think that's fine. I think Yerry Mina is their best central defender. You know, he's See, six foot five. He's anyone's better than Keane. Under any You've other circumstances, Douglas Bader would be better than Michael Keane. Simon, under any other circumstances, because of the mismanagement at, at, at a, a high level, 
you might think logic would say it's time for Farhad to sell. But of course, Evertonians wouldn't want that. Who's going to sell beca- it to? Because of the amount of money that he can throw at the problem, and undoubtedly will. Well, he's got to learn the lessons, and, and, and undoubtedly he will learn the lessons. And people make mistakes, but I don't think you make mistakes over five or six years and keep repeating them. That's, 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 that's the definition of madness, isn't it? Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.